Okay, well, inside this box is one of the most favorite toys I ever had growing up. I haven't seen one of these, I'm going to guess and say 40 years, roughly. I think I received one, I don't know if it was for a birthday present or a Christmas present, maybe 45 years ago. I've been trying to find one on the internet for years. When I was a kid growing up, my dad loved hunting and guns and he gave me that aspiration to love hunting and guns and I did. And I had a lot of uh, toy guns growing up, you know, prior to becoming a, a young adult. And one of the guns that I had, which was a little weird at the time, still seems a little weird, is this particular gun. And I wish my mom or my dad, or I wish both of them were still here, but I mean, I wish one of them were here that I could ask them, where did you get this thing from? Because it's just, it just was so away from the style of guns that I had. And this was literally the most played with gun. A lot to do with the fact that it did so many darn things. And you're about to see how many things it did. This gun I have, oh my goodness, <laughs> I actually have a, a newspaper from Reading, Pennsylvania, and what was the cost of this? I think it was $2.88 back in 1965 or something like that. Obviously, wrap this better than what I would have liked. I, well, I guess not. I wanted it to be here. Well, I see what they've done. <clears throat> so anyways, I wanted to videotape this for one real good reason, and that was to remember it. Um, remember opening it. I'm never going to buy anything like this again. <clears throat> this is something that I want to look at, and it brings back a, just a real feeling of... Uh, security and uh, happiness. Kind of like when I got my Zeroids. So this is called a multi-pistol 09. And you can see that this acrylic case, which is four, over 40 years old, does not have any cracks on it. And there's two little open uh, things here. And this is an attaché case, right? It's a gun. Anyways, the second reason I wanted to do this is I wanted my uh, brother, Jared, to see this. He had one of these, too. Oh, he smokes. Is this thing in good shape? Here's the instructions. They've kept them perfect. Oh, darn. There's a little... Oh, no. Yeah, there's a little latch missing here. Oh, the buggers, they didn't say that in the... No, oh, that goes like that. Now you crush this, these things to get them off of there, remember that. So that gets latched like that. I'm never going to use this. And then this gets latched in place. I should load one. I'll load a short range one and shoot Lillian with it. <laughs> yeah, try that again. Just put the. <laughs> My brother will get a kick out of that. Anyways, there was the short range bullets, the long range bullets, which fit in here as well. And then it, this is just a little plug just to keep it from getting dirty. But let's see if this works. Oh, you got to take the extension barrel off. You want to use a grenade launcher. And we're shooting Lillian. Oh, that one, <laughs> that one shoots really quite well. Oh, this is so cool. We've got telescopic sights. Jesus, things in good shape, eh? Huh. 
And the little trap door here, that's where this little pistol goes. That's your last shot, man. <laughs> if you run out of bullets and bombs, you can still pop that out. And, oh, get out of there. And you put a little cap in there, and then you shoot it. Oh, that's too cool. I'm going to clean it all up real good. Jeez, that gun's in good shape. And uh, what do you think, Jarrett? Like, that's seriously too cool, eh? I'm sure he remembers it, too. This this is a little bomb. You put a cap there, eh? Then you put that down, and you shoot it up, and bang, the cap goes off. This one, it's got, oh, this thing's hardly ever been played with. I shouldn't even be touching it. This got a little uh, cotter pin here. You take that cotter pin out, you load it up, and it blows up into a boat. Six or seven or eight different pieces, I can't remember now. And this one is, uh, you put a little secret uh, message in there, and you put it back together, and you put it in your little shooter, and you shoot it over the fence to your uh, secret agent spy that's helping you out. So all in all, this thing is in absolutely remarkable shape when you it's in excess of 40 years old anyways I think it's closer to 50 years old to be honest with you probably is 50 years old and it's just something that's uh, gonna warm me up when I need to just a little pick-me-upper kind of thing so there you go Jared if you want one of your own you're just gonna have to look around the internet